All right, so it I'm not going to lie. It took me uh took me a while to kind of figure out how I wanted to uh how I wanted to do this intro. Um I recently just hit 57 subscribers. Um so I passed my 50 subscriber milestone. Um so just thank you for that um to all of you that watch my content uh regularly or support me who interact with me and give me the opportunity to interact with you it really means a lot um i never even thought i'd get, <laughs> get this far i won't lie i did not think i'd get this far and a lot of you are probably like well it's only 57 subscribers dude like calm down well that's that's a lot for me <laughs> so thank you for that again i really appreciate that um also i was kind of nervous because i've never done a video like this before um i wanted to do a video basically just going over the new ttk patch notes um i have the patch notes right here in front of me like i'm not i haven't rehearsed this i don't have notes like it's just me looking at the patch notes on my phone and going over it um so i'll be going over the actual stats and then uh giving a community opinion uh that i've seen or witnessed anyway as well as my own personal opinion you can take my opinion with a grain of salt. Uh, I very much expect that. But uh, I've been rambling. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, this has been a pretty long intro, so let's just get into it. So, 5.2 TTK. Balance changes. With this update, we're continuing our work on weapon balancing across the game, and with this update, we're focused on addressing the damage values of weapons over range. Let's start off with the good old SMGs. SMGs will primarily receive heavy damage reduction at long range. Close range damage is only reduced on some very fast firing SMGs. This strengthens their general role as close range weapons. Some SMGs have seen revisions to their existing damage model in a way that allows them to favor long-range damage over close-range performance, giving medics more tools for uh, ranged engagements. So, I forgot to mention, a lot of these weapons within their respective categories have been balanced into, like, subcategories, and you'll catch on to that in a minute. So within the SMGs, we have the close range SMGs, the Suomi, the Tommy Gun, the MP28, the ZK-383, when paired with their high rate of fire specialization, they have a 5 to 13 bullet to kill from 0 to 15 meters, with spawn ammo being 150 to 180. So, rather high rate of fire. Reduced damage per shot and fast damage drop off. Um, as you can see, the fast damage drop off 15 meters is the effective maximum range. Yikes. Uh, balanced SMGs. The ZK383 without the high rate of fire performance. The MP40, the Sten, the EMP, and the Type 100. So, damage for these is. Or these are, <laughs> God, do you even English Stegosaur? Come on. <laughs> Damage for these weapons are 4 to 11 and 5 to 12 for the Type 100. With the effective range of 0 to 20 minutes. Or minutes and <laughs> meters. <laughs> oh my god, I should have rehearsed this. <laughs> no, it's alright. <laughs> uh, 0 to 20 meters with. Spawn ammo being 150 to 180. So these SMGs have slightly extended drop off, easy to use um, at the cost of lower rate of fire, generally good handling, and doesn't really impact range performance. So, alright. And then we have the AR SMGs, which will be the MP34 and the MAB38 with a 5 to 8 bullet to kill time. 
the effective range of 10 to 30 meters. Haha, -ha, got it right that time. <laughs> um, with spawn ammo being 150 to 180, same as the others. Uh, so these SMGs will have a reduced damage drop off at the cost of lower damage output at close range. So this is going to kind of give medics like an extended range, kind of, um, compared to their other SMG counterparts. Um, okay, yeah. Moving on to the assault rifles. Changes affect both minimum and maximum damage roughly equally, reducing close range performance more than long range performance when compared to SMGs. The M1907SF has been revived so that it is now treated like an SMG in order to ensure that the assault class keeps good option for close range gunplay. Which, I mean, to be fair, wasn't it? already kind of a SMG playstyle weapon. I mean, I don't really think most people treated that as an assault rifle type playstyle, but whatever. Um, on to my, we're going to start off with my favorite weapon for the assault class, the ribeye roll. Uh, the ribeye roll holds a 5 to 7 bullet to kill time with the effective range of 15 to 40 meters and spawn ammo of 150 rounds. Um, so this one's gonna be more of a low rate of fire, and it's gonna have a reduced magazine capacity with improved damage at long range. The SCG is gonna have 5 to 8 bullets to kill time with the effective range of 10 to 30 meters. Spawn ammo is gonna be 150. This assault rifle is gonna have good damage per shot and accuracy with an increased rate of fire and magazine capacity to help it out at shorter distances. Uh, the Sturmgewehr 1.5. The Sturmgewehr. Alright, that was crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the Sturmgewehr 1.5 is going to have 6 to 9 bullet to kill time, effective 10 to 30 meters. Spawn ammo is going to be 180, so, okay, higher than the other one, slightly. Um, this assault rifle is going to have a higher rate of fire with reduced damage per shot. The M1907, on the other hand, 5 to 13 bullet kill time? What? With the effective range of 0 to 15 meters. Spawn ammo is going to be 160 rounds. So a high rate of fire increased with damage up close and fast damage drop off. It's going to allow the assault class to attain an SMG style of play, which, I mean, you could have really left that. Um, okay. I mean, that, you're not really, whatever. Whatever, dice. Um, the Breda, probably my least favorite assault class weapon. Five to six bullet kill time, uh, bullet to kill time, with the effective range of 50, 20 to 50 meters. Spawn ammo target's going to be 140 rounds, so a hard-hitting burst fire assault rifle. Rate of fire is pretty low, as is damage drop-off, best used at some distance. Yeah, okay. Alright, LMGs. Good old LMGs. LMGs can... LMG changes both minimum and maximum drop-off. Oh, God, I can't talk. Changes affect both minimum and maximum damage roughly equally, reducing close range performance more than long range performance when compared to SMGs. The FG42 and LS26 are treated like SMGs so that support class so that the support class can maintain options for good close range weapons. Flat damage is applied to the Madsen in order to keep it as good as a long range LMG option while being very weak at close range. Okay. Um, it's really weird, like, I really should have practiced this, because, like, there's a few typos in here while I'm reading a patch note, so I'm reading it, and I'm like, oh no, wait a minute, hold on, that's not correct grammar, <laughs> that's not correct spelling, what, what's going on? Um, so, bear with me, I promise I'm not illiterate. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start off with the balanced SMGs, the KE-7, the Bren Gun, and the Lewis Gun, which are all some of my favorite to use, actually. Um, 
they're going to have a 5 to 8 bullet to kill time with an effective range of 10 to 30 meters. Spawn ammo is going to be 180. LMGs, these LMGs with a low to medium rate of fire, decent damage per bullet, give it similar effective range as the high rate of fire LMGs. Then we're going to have the close quarter combat LMGs, again the LS and the FG42. So, 4 to 11 bullets for the LS26. What? Okay, and 5 to 13 bullets for the FG42? What? Oh no. Okay, um, alright then. Effective range 0 to 50 meters. Uh, okay. Spawn ammo is going to be 180. Medium to fast firing LMGs with good damage in close range. Fast damage drop off limits effective range. Handling is not an issue for the distances the weapon is designed to be good at. Okay. So, same plate style, just different stats. Way different stats. Um, also, if you, like, hear me sniffling, like, I'm not sick. I just haven't been feeling well lately. Like, I've just been... Oh no, really, really tired, I guess. Like, been taking a lot of naps lately. I don't know what that means. I think I just need to sleep more instead of staying up all night playing video games. Anyway, <laughs> um, ranged LMGs. The Madsen MMG is going to be six bullets over all ranges with an effective range of 20 meters or further. Spawn ammo is going to be 200. Highly accurate and controllable LMGs with a low rate of fire. Constant damage per bullet has them unable to compete at close range, but very strong at longer ranges. Okay, so now we're going to the MMGs. Less recoil adjustments are expected here in order to keep on using it for range limiting. Since damage alone won't do it at 1200 rounds per minute. Yeah, that's fair. Bullet changes put the focus on very short range or weakness at close range traded off for better range capabilities. Okay, but doesn't that... What? So, like, why would you want it to be better for longer ranges? Like, wasn't the meta before, oh, MMGs or laser beams, oh, they're... Like, they have too far of a reach? Why would they... Okay. Whatever. I'm trying to, like, save my opinions for the end, you know? But, like, as I'm reading through the stats, I'm like, <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Time out. Um, close range MMGs. MMG 42 and the VGO. 5 to 13 bullet to kill time. Jeez. Effective range 0 to 20 meters. Spawn ammo, 200, give or take. Very fast firing MMGs with good start damage, but fast drop off. Handling needs to limit range further as the damage drop off alone is partially offset by the high rate of fire and large magazine capabilities for MMGs. Balanced MMGs, the MG34, the S2200, and the M1922. 6 to 9 bullet kill time. From 10 to 30 meters, spawn ammo 200 rounds again. Medium but fast firing MMGs with low start damage, but gentler drop off. Okay. Ranged MMGs, the Browning, 5 to 8 bullets to kill time. Uh, this is going to be 20 to 50 meters with a spawn ammo of 200 rounds. Medium rate of fire MMG with good damage per bullet and gentle drop off. Not the best up close, but good handling and damage drop off give it better range than other MMGs. Watch over there. Okay. So now we're going to the semi automatic rifles. Tweaks are heavily dependent on the specific weapon. Performance is generally reduced at all ranges, but range performance should remain above average for most semi automatic rifles. The M1A1 carbine starting off with 4 to 6 bullets to kill time, 10 to 50 meters with a spawn ammo of 90 rounds. Good magazine capacity, fast reload, very high rate of fire, and low recoil. 
The AG M42 is going to be four bullets to kill over all the ranges with an effective range of 15 meters and beyond. With its fixed decent damage and medium rate of fire, it can take the or it can take care of enemies at any range quickly if landing headshots. Recoil is low but low magazine cast capacity <laughs> and damage per body shot make it unattractive if not going for headshots. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> the Duver 1-5, 3 to 6 bullet to kill time. Alright, so this seems like it's going to be more of a heavy hitter, I guess. Uh, effective range 0 to 30 meters with a spawn ammo of 90 rounds. Medium rate of fire and good maximum damage make it very good for closer ranges when combined with its big detachable magazine. The Turner SMLE, 4 to 5 bullet kill time from 15 to 50 meters with a spawn ammo or spawn yeah spawn ammo capacity of 90 rounds. Fast firing assault rifle with medium damage per bullet, not good at close or very long range but the in-between okay um the mass 44 damage is four to five bullets to kill 15 to 50 meters and spawn ammo 90 again has a longer reload but slightly less recoil and faster bullets make it a bit easier to use okay so moving on to the heavy hitting semi-automatic rifles, the M1 Garand, the Caravan 1938, the Gewehr 43, and the Slater 1916. Damage, 3 to 4 bullets go time, 20 meters and beyond. Alright, so, uh, um, spawn ammo target, 70, rather slow firing semi-automatic rifles with good damage per hit and range capabilities. Recoil is balanced around magazine capacity and reload, with the M1 Garand coming in very low. They did actually tweak the sound for the M1 Garand, so like all nearby allies can hear the sound of the ejecting cartridge, which I actually, I love that sound. It's such a cool sound. It's so iconic. Um, self-loading rifles. Change in damage is not viable on self-loading rifles. Adjustments are only made to reduce rate of fire. Interesting. Uh, aggressive self-loading rifles, the Model 8 and the RSC. Two to three bullets a kill. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's... that's... Yeah. Effective range 10 to 50 meter, or 10 to 50 meters with a spawn ammo of 60. Slow firing semi-automatic rifles with a very strong bullet damage drop off at long range. At closer distances they keep up with regular semi Oh yeah. Um semi-automatic rifles but are less forgiving. Long range self loaders. The ZH29 and the Selb Slater 1906. Two to three bullets kill time again. Effective range 30 meters and beyond. Spawn ammo 50. Very slow firing semi automatic rifles with an extremely powerful bullet. They can keep up with or even beat the heavy hitting semi. semi automatic rifles. They put. they put semi semi automatic rifles. <laughs> these. I'm telling you, man, these. God, dice. Did you. did you even English in high school? <laughs> Um, but are less forgiving to use due to their rate of fire. Alright, so shotguns, reduced one hit kill range for all ammo types, around two meters less. Okay, so the 12 gauge automatic is going to have an effective range of eight meters with its base buckshot. Um, so it's going to be the fast firing semi-automatic shotgun with a low effective range. The M1897 is going to have a 9 meter effective range with its base buckshot. It's going to be the slow firing pump action shotgun with increased effective range, but like only slightly. Only 1 meter difference. And then the drilling. 10 meter 
effective range with base buckshot. So again, slightly further out than the previous. Um, the triple barrel combination gun. The two buckshot barrels can be fired in quick succession and have the best effective range of all shotguns. The rifle barrel fires a unique bullet, bullet that is different from slugs and that can always kill with a headshot. Yeah, alright. All right. Pistol carbines is one of the last categories. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long video, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Um, so mainly reduced damage with increased rate of fire. Um, the P08 carbine is going to have an effective range of 0 to 20 meters with a spawn ammo of 160 rounds. Very fast firing carbine with a generous magazine. The trench carbine, again, effective range 0 to 20 meters with a spawn ammo of 160. Very, fi very fast firing carbine with a massive magazine. Uh, bolt action carbines, uh, sniper rifles, anti-material rifles, they haven't been changed at all, they're just having their maximum start ammo increased. Um, that's it for the weapons. Um, so, yeah, I, not really sure how I feel about this update i'm i'm hit or miss uh i'm, I'm gonna give you the community um uh, from what i've noticed the community feedback first so i left for class this morning and i had my playstation downloading the update while i was in class and while i was in class instead of <laughs> instead of going over the exam review because i really need to fail or pass this class i really don't want to take it again i was on <laughs> on reddit subreddits and forums online pages and stuff just all over trying to prepare myself figure out what was what i was going to be in for when i got home and fired up battlefield and it was like you, 10% yeah this is fun 90% fuck you dice so I almost didn't even play today because I really didn't want to put myself in that situation but like I just you have to give it a chance like you can't just go off of everyone's word because you know they different opinions different strokes for different folks yeah um, that being said, I played probably a good four or five hours, and I was not, I don't know how to describe it. So, like, I'm, every, every reason why I don't like it gives me a reason to like it, and vice versa. Like, I don't like it because it's not very aggressive, it's... It's spongy, very forgiving, um, very constricting as to what you can do, but at the same time, that's good because it kind of goes back to what Battlefield 1 was trying to do, you know? So, like, Battlefield 1, at the end of its lifespan, was great. Had great gunplay. Everyone was kind of skeptical about it at first. But after a while and after playing it, everyone was like, Oh my god, yay, dice, you're so cool, woohoo, yeah, let me touch your private parts. And I think that's good, because I loved Battlefield 1 by the end of its life cycle. Rough start, but I loved it at the end, still do to this day. But Battlefield 5 is not Battlefield 1 for many specific reasons, one of which is the gunplay. When Battlefield 5 was being teased, they said Battlefield 5 is going to have a much more, a much different, more high skill ceiling and less forgiving gunplay than Battlefield 1. And that's what people expected when they bought the game. That's what they want to play or wanted to play. And then you go back and tweak it so that it's like Battlefield 1, it's like hit or miss because it's like, again, yeah, Battlefield 1 was great, we all loved it, but I'm not playing Battlefield 
5 to play Battlefield 1 when it was not marketed to play like Battlefield 1. If that makes sense. Um, another reason why I didn't like the gunplay, I just, I didn't feel as confident. Um, I just, and it, for a lot of reasons, because uh, it's new gunplay, so of course you're going to go into it thinking, what can I do, what can't I do, how's, what's going to happen, um, etc, etc. But I, I wasn't confident with my plays, because they made it so that the effective range and capabilities are extremely restricted. So normally, when I use a gun, and I'm in a certain situation, I look at it and I say, oh, yes, I can get away with this, or no, I should not make this move. No, I should hold my fire. Yes, I should push up. Yes, I can win this gunfight. No, I'm about to get stomped on. But now with the new gunplay, it's like... I, I second guess myself so much more, you know? Like, oh, normally I could win this gunfight, but why now am I getting stepped on all of a sudden in the same situation? Or, yo, that person should have killed me. How did I get away with that? You know? Like, it's, it, you, it's, again, it's hit or miss. I can't describe it. Like, if I'm using a weapon in a way that it should not be used, at a range it should not be used, I should be penalized in what I can and can't do. But at the same time, if I have a high enough skill to do what I'm about to do and get away with it and accomplish it, then you should let me be rewarded in getting away with that, you know? Like, d does that make sense? Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. Um, and so I, I messed around with it again. I played for a few hours and I find myself losing gunfights and not getting kills I normally would have and getting killed by guns I normally wouldn't have and, and that's another thing so they they said they wanted to make certain guns more appealing in certain situations making you think about your next move more tactically yes that's great that's awesome that's what I want except I think you guys overstepped your boundary a bit. Like, how, how do I describe it? Okay, so, I, I, I'm guilty of using the same few weapons in the same classes. You know, the, the ribeye roll is my favorite assault weapon, um, the Lewis gun and the LS, old reliable for me, you know, etc, etc. But, the thing is, is you, they want to make certain guns more appealing, and in trying to make certain guns more appealing, they only traded those old guns that we would have chosen for newer guns. Like, the FG-42, before the update, is a beast at close range, you know? It was one of the go-to aggressive LMGs for the support class. And now you're telling me I can't use it past, what, 30 meters? Or else it'll take 13 bullets to drop a person? What? Excuse me? Like, it, it, it reminds me of the, what was that SMG called in Battlefield 1? The RSC 17 something? The Assault Class LM, er, SMG? It had like nine rounds in the mag and it took like <laughs> six rounds to kill a person. You had to reload every time. The reload was god awful. The accuracy was garbage. The damage was trash. Like, I. And, and people looked at the gun as a high skill cannon, which it was. 
and I think that's kind of what they were trying to do with the FG-42, except they completely ruined it. Like, and, but again, I, I tried to experiment with different guns, you know, guns I don't use often, guns I've never touched ever, and, you know, the ribeye rolls still feels like a solid choice to me in the assault class. The Selb Slater 1916, on the other hand, a gun that I recently started using and coming, you know, to terms with, takes an extra or sometimes two extra bullets to kill at ranges, and it's like, well, at certain ranges, and it's like, well, I mean, I, you want, you, you add a variety of guns, we, we use said guns, and now you change those said guns that we finally, you know, get used to, or are starting to get used to, or come to terms with, and make them unviable in certain situations. Like, it, I, I don't understand that. I, I, I mean, I do and I don't. I understand what they were trying to do. I think it just wasn't implemented in a good way. Um, yeah, that's, that's just my opinion. Another gun that I was messing around with was the Sten. I haven't touched the Sten since I <laughs> unlocked the next gun after that. That's how much I hated the Sten. And now the Sten feels like a really solid option for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still expect to lose to a max rate of fire ZK-383 or Tommy gun. But... It's hit or miss, because certain guns I find myself not using too much, if at all, I see myself using more, but guns I'm coming to terms with and starting to try out and trying to get accustomed to, or guns that I'm already used to, I see as not very viable. Like. The MP34. I've been recently trying out the MP34, and I like it. It's a really good slow rate of fire, but very accurate, good damage, good damage drop off, or at least it was. And now it's like really, really weird to use because, again, I cannot use it in the same situations as I was before. And that's good and bad because it's good because it adds more variety to gunplay in combat, but it's bad because you're restricting the way I can use that gun. Again, if I know I can use it in a certain way, even though it's not designed for that way, yes, I should be penalized, but if I have the skill and the knowledge to pull it off, I should be able to win gunfights, and I should be able to stay confident in my skill and the ability to read situations. Um, yeah, it, it, it's weird. It's really weird for me. Um, I have also noticed there's been a lot more camping. Oh boy. Um, I think this match in the background that's playing right now, <laughs> we had a problem with campers on top of the bridge at the A-Flag just chilling in the corner. Like, I don't think I moved past the A-Flag for most of the game because I was like, yo, I'm gonna get shot in the back, I don't know what's gonna happen. And it's not just that server. Like I said, I've been playing for a few hours, and every server I hop in, it's either full, but... Everyone's camping in a corner with their bipods and tripods and quad pods. Or the lobby is half full with a very one-sided team. And one team is completely wrecking the other because they have 15 more players and they're holding every flag. Those are the things you should be updating, guys. Those are the things you should be working on. Not the TTK. The TTK is, was perfect. I mean, granted, it, there are some improvements. Like I, like all the ones I've mentioned, I, 
it is more engaging. Like, when I'm going up against someone else, it does make me second think my actions. And it does add more challenge, you know, because other gunfights where I would normally completely shred a person or two or three, the gunplay is more fair if they know how to use their weapon, if I know how to use mine, if it's optimal. So, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I'm going to play around with it some more and, you know, maybe try to make up my mind because I'm I'm really hit or miss right now I love it but I hate it I think it's fun but I think it's frustrating I think they took a step in the right direction and then jumped backwards you know like again if they would have fixed the matchmaking or something else if they would have fixed the lagging on the Pacific Theater maps, anything, I feel like I would have been happy, but, um, I, I rambled, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> like, I, I, I did go on longer than I thought, like, I knew it was gonna be a long video, but, yeah, um, but, I just wanna get your guys' opinion as well, leave your opinions in the comments, um, below, or you can hit me up on Instagram, you know, comment on any of my Instagram posts, I might put up a post about the TTK change, or you can message my Instagram, my Instagram is randomstegosaur, it's the same, it's just with no underscore, like my gamertag, you know, um, yeah, again now, or again, times two, I guess, 57 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And thank you so much. Um, really enjoying this. Um, having a lot of fun. But I hope to see you all in the next video. Tell me what you think about this video. I was really nervous. I've never done one like this before. Um, if you want more like this, tell me. If you don't, again, tell me. Like, comment, subscribe, you're awesome, you're legends, keep doing you.